Good morning, Monroe. Today is Tuesday, March 31st, 2020. And today we are celebrating two birthdays at Monroe. So happy birthday to two fourth graders, Kayla and Lucas. I hope you guys have a tremendous day today. So yesterday we talked a little bit about feelings or emotions. And there's all different feelings and emotions that we can experience, whether it be sadness or happiness or joy or confusion or silliness. We go through all these different emotions each and every day. But what I wanna to talk to you about today is if you wake up or in the middle of the day you find yourself in one of those moods that aren't the best, or you're feeling sad or angry, what are some things you can do to change that mood? So here are some quick suggestions for you to change your mood. One is to smile. If you really do a big smile, I really don't think there's any way for you to stay grumpy or mad or sad. Not just a little smile, like a gigantic smile and keep it there for a little bit. The next thing I suggest you trying is to do something kind for somebody else. For me, there's no greater joy in the world than to do something kind for somebody and to watch the reaction and to see their happiness. That causes me happiness in return. I also like to be with my family, to snuggle up or to cuddle. That causes me great joy and it takes all the stress I have in my body away. Maybe not just snuggling with my family or cuddling up with just them, but maybe a pet you have. Pets take away a lot of stress or sadness. It's nice just to have someone else there with you. You could even go to a quiet place smell in some fresh air, or even listen to a happy song. These are some ideas for ways you can change maybe a grumpy mood into a good mood. One of our first videos today is from Mr. Matt or Mr. West, and it's going to be him and his buddy who came to visit school a few weeks ago, maybe even a month or two ago. And we are going to see if you can accept Mr. Matt's challenge. This is me and Ranger. Ranger took a very long journey through the halls of Monroe. A very long journey, or did I say that? He has these following pictures. He would like you to locate where they are in the beautiful building in Monroe. He's going to call the game, Where's Ranger? Hopefully you have fun and get 100%. Bye. And our second video today is from Mrs. Ireland and her two girls, and they made something really, really awesome that I know you guys are going to love. They made edible slime. So you will see some of their joy and their happiness as a family. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Hi, Monroe. I'm Mrs. Ireland. I have a fun way you can do something with your family, and you can also practice reading, math, and following directions with a purpose. Today, we're gonna show you how to make chocolate Reese's Pieces edible slime. Yummy! First, we're gonna add some marshmallows to our bowls. Ooh. Next, you're going to add three tablespoons of chocolate mix to your bowl. After that, you're gonna microwave for 45 seconds. Once 
Once they microwave, you're gonna mix until smooth. All right, can you tell me what's next? Add half a teaspoon of coconut oil. Half a teaspoon. Yep. You're going to mix that in. And then we're slowly going to add in our powdered sugar and our cornstarch. You should be able to pick it up in your hands. You should be able to stretch it like slime. Okay, and then you're gonna leave it in your dish and you're gonna do the final step. You're gonna be adding your Reese's Pieces candies and your colored sprinkles. After you dump them in, you're gonna kind of fold it into the slime and you should be able to pick it up again. After you add the candy, you should be able to play with it and then eventually do the best part, which is eat it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope everyone has a great day. It's really good. General Elementary. I know it's been a tough time these past few weeks staying indoors, so I decided to bring some fun to home today. This is Tuesday, so every Tuesday from now on, we're going to have Tuesday tongue twisters. My first favorite tongue twister is one that many of you already know because I shared it, but I'm going to share it again anyway. And that is, I want you to say toy boat three times real fast. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. It's a little hard to do. But I'm going to share a new tongue twister with you today as well. Are you ready? A big bug bit the little beetle, but the little beetle bit the big bug back. Want me to say it again? The big bug bit a little beetle, but the little beetle bit the big bug back. Whew, that was a mouthful. Anyway, look forward to next Tuesday, because then I'll bring to you another Tuesday tongue twister. Enjoy your week, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. So Monroe, make it a great, great day today. As always, be kind and leave a legacy and I will see you tomorrow.